Engineer and Stu Witt, the former CEO of the Mojave Air and Spaceport, is joining us this morning to talk about the history that we saw made this morning. Mr. Witt, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hey, good morning. Nice being with you again. So let's just talk a little bit about what we witnessed here. I mean, truly remarkable space flight, just over 10 minutes from uh, launch to touchdown. Can you just talk a little bit about what we just witnessed and why this is so historic for all of us? Well, this is a years in the making. The Blue Origin's been in business roughly 20 years. And I, what went through my mind is just the amount of people that are involved with making this look easy. Uh, it, it's stunning to me. In fact, the, my internet's been alive all morning with all of my colleagues, former astronauts, uh, aviators, uh, even uh, uh, one of the uh, astronauts that works for uh, uh, Blue Origin uh, used to live here in Kern County at Ridgecrest and flew out of Lemoore with me. I mean, these, these people have been working years to make this look easy. And America needs it. We need, uh, we need multiple companies providing launch services to space to continue to drive the cost down and improve the quality of life on Earth. What was it it's like? Fascinating. It's so fascinating. What was it like for you personally to watch this? Oh, I got a little tear in my eye seeing the crowds and knowing this, the elation. And I mean, these people have been up probably all night. Some of them have been up for two days. And you can't even begin to realize just what it takes to make this look easy. And as I was sitting here saying to one of my buddies, you know, about a million miracles just occurred that took years in the making for each one of these concepts. And uh, everybody watching, it just looks effortless. And uh, I, I'm just stunned by what humans can do when they put their mind to it. And we're watching some live pictures right now of, of course, the, the, the passengers that were on that ship uh, leaving, going back to their cars to resume life, really. I mean, they've already been to space and uh, they're going back into their cars. I, I want to ask you those two because a lot of people are kind of, they're watching this right now and they're going, okay, you got a bunch of billionaires that are on this, on this spacecraft right now. What's the purpose of this? You know, when, you, when you look at the you know, space tourism, what is the purpose of space tourism? Well, the, there's an enormous thirst for, for going to space and seeing the view of Earth. And I don't think, I'll tell you what the purpose to me is, I don't think people have a real appreciation for just how thin this little veil of atmosphere is that we must protect that surrounds our Earth, that it basically uh, it, it provides life on Earth. And if you, you're sitting in Bakersfield right now, and you, if you just take a look out the window and look at the Tehachapi Mountains, the distance between where you are and the top of Tehachapi Peak is uh, basically the thickness of our entire atmosphere. And you go about, oh, out to Wheat Patch Road, somewhere in that area from where you are in downtown at the headquarters of KGET, and that's about the, the thickness of our useful atmosphere. I don't think people have an appreciation for it's measured in just a few miles. and. Uh, uh, you know, and, until people in mass go up and see what we're talking about and how fragile our, our Earth is, we have to protect it. And we have to learn how to access space. Everything we've developed in our ambitions in space has improved the quality of life on Earth. And, you know, I mean, the cell phone I'm talking on this morning, the camera on that cell phone, the, the computer chips, every bit of that came out of our ambitions in space. Uh, the solar panels that power satellites on orbit are primarily used on Earth in mass now to provide renewable green energy. Now, all these things have a dual purpose, but we have to uh, continue to explore. Uh, the benefits to us on Earth are extraordinary. And I, I tip my hat to the billionaires who have the ambition. They could have given up many, many times, but they haven't. And uh, I, think Amer I think humanity is going to benefit uh, greatly. Uh, from from uh, what you're seeing on TV, what you saw in, uh, in New Mexico, what you see at the Cape, I tip my hat to them. It, it's stunning. Really quickly, Stu, we're almost out of time. How important was Kern County uh, and has Kern County's role been in this entire space tourism race? Oh, it's huge. Uh, it's huge. You know, Kern County's been at the center of aerospace since the beginning of aerospace. And I, I think we have a bright future. It's where Jim and I were talking about the other night with Kevin Mickey. Uh, don't, don't discount Kern County's role in this at all.
All right, Stu Witt, former CEO of Mojave Air and Spaceport, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We sure appreciate your insight, sir. Thank you.